<clears throat> hey guys, so um, this video will talk about city fire again, but in a more specific way. Um, I will be telling what my opinion is. Um, I will be telling uh, the best champions, like the best, uh, the champions that use City Devour best, whether it be synergization with build or kit. Uh, this is my opinion, so you might not agree with everything, although you will agree with at least a few things. Um, First of all, I want to encourage you, stimulate you, especially if you're a jungle main, to play um, safety for a lot, like really a lot. Um, I'm pretty sure safety for will get nerfed next patch, if not next patch, in a few patches. It is incredibly broken right now. You really want to play it so badly. Like, you really should use that item and I've used it to climb ELO a lot smoother and to perform a lot better. Uh, CD4 basically gives you a minor early and mid game setback, but your late game scaling will get so much higher. And since low ELO is uh, no, really not, not low elo. Since Sir Q is uh, chaotic and unorganized, you will all, pretty much always get to late game. Unless you're at higher elo where people are. Like, unless you're at mid diamond or higher diamond, or if you have a few rare occasions where you have above 50% of the games that do not last until late game because it's one sided or something. Um. Yeah, so, first of all, like I said before, Shax and Chi Jungle currently, in my opinion, are the strongest champions for a CD4 in general, like, they're just two strongest that use that item the best, in my opinion. Um, if you're a AD carry main, you want to play or if you're very good at a champion that you main, or if you main that champion, I would advise you to play Vayne and Kalista, just because they're so strong. Uh, Kogmao is also really strong with it. Timo is also really strong with it. Also, EP Timo is mm, could be better, in my opinion, since he plays less risky than. But Timo is stopping, so irrelevant. Um, for either carries, like I've said before, Caitlyn works pretty well, but it's not a must buy item for Caitlyn. Um, it can work on Ferris, but yeah, on attack speed, either carry team fight Ferris with maybe a Runa and Surikin, but meh. It could work on. Tristana, but you don't necessarily need to bite on Tristana because Tristana is already like her cut already is very strong lead game, so burning that isn't efficient stat wise. Um, yeah, Kalista and Vayne is a pretty must, especially if you main them. You can play them mid, jungle, top, ED carry. I would advise them to play. I would advise you to play him at uh, those two top or uh, as CD carry. Uh, <laughs> if you're not that good at Kalista and Vayne or ED carry in general, you can play them top. Top would probably be the most easiest to play them out with Safety Devourer. If you're playing against a melee or a tank or something like that. Um, Cannon could also work as ED carry now. A lot of stuns, but stuns got nerfed. Kogma is really strong, can be used mid lane and ED carry, but puts pressure on your team because, yeah, he has no escapes. Um, 
Misfortune also works to be strong with it, but uh, Misfortune is a pretty bad pick. Um, any other ED carries? Mm, TF could work as an ED carry as well now, but it's going to be awkward. I don't recommend TF. Um, yeah, that's it. Now for um, top lane. Top lane and jungle actually, since both roles are pretty close to each other. Uh, Aatrox is really strong now. If you use blood press all the time when you're full tank, besides Devourer, or if you're full ED, you can sustain a lot more. If you go to say the Devourer on Aatrox, I recommend you play him full tank or bruiser. Uh, hmm. Diana could also be played as an on hit tank now. Uh, Elise is also a very strong pick. Like, if you're lazy or lack like mechanical skill and you want to play Sadie Devour Jungler, a Sadie Devour Jungler, you should play Elise or Warwick, in my opinion. So, say just basically auto hits with Sadie Devour. If you want a more skilled, quote unquote, uh, Jungle champion with CD4 or top lane champion. You could play Chi or Chex or Shen. Shivana is also one of the ladies in my opinion since she basically just had the hits. Um, what else can you play? Oh yeah, a Fist, Fist, Chex, Shivana, Udir, Volibear, Chi, Chex. Elise, Warwick, they're all very strong currently in uh, jungle. Mid Sita Devar, uh, also I don't recommend you play Warwick, just because he can be used pretty easily. I mean, y you can, but you won't be able to control the game a lot, besides sheer killing and damage threat potential. Like even though Kench has more strategic diversity than Warwick, I would say. The only thing nice about Warwick is that he can chase really well with Blood Scent and his ulti works with CD4 since it's auto hits with the suppression. Um, so yeah, Aatrox works well. Elise for the lazy or skull, um, mechanical lacking players. Gnar could work with it pretty well as well. But if you want to proc your W in girl, you might as well go um, um, Renance Hurricane since you will be Bruiser or Tank, preferably Tank, and you can go frontline proc your well, W is faster and multiple targets. You reach threats just like kill kind of instead of single target shred. Um you really are. Um, CD4 and Aurelia is an awkward and confusing situation, I would say. You really are relies on Snowball, but what you can do is when you're playing against a lead game scaling team that actually performs well early or mid game, you can. Like for example, Amundo, which is hard to kill, and you're leaning against in top lane, you can go CD4 and you can rely on late game scaling because your W gives you a lot more sustain with your CD4 and a lot more damage. It increases strategic diversity on Irelia, but mm, I still don't think it's strong on Irelia. Uh, Kassadin could be a pretty strong uh, on hit tank now. As jungle preferably, but could also work top lane. Just because he's very mobile with his ulti, you could just go ED or ED Bruiser or tank, preferably Bruiser or on head tank. Because the more attack speed you get, the more you will be able to proc Steady Devour passive. But yeah, Bruiser works as well on Cassidin. Um, but yeah, you should, instead of going a lot of ED, you should. Like, you should prioritize attack speed more than ET if you go for a CD4 as core item. Um, Kale 
could be a good replacement for uh, uh, Renan Hurricane, but that's more single target shredding instead of Eerie sh target shredding, which isn't really optimal for Kale since she has her E splash damage. But at the same time, you could think no, uh, it, it just Renan Hurricane is better on Kale than Sadie Defar, in my opinion. You could use both, but then you're super squishy and you're not really that long ranged anyway, so. Could also work top. Uh, I could play him top, say before, with, uh, against uh, a tank or uh, a melee. Uh, it's going to become really strong on Teemo as top lane. On hit Teemo. Could even play him jungle ultra, I don't recommend it since he's pretty shitty as jungle. And it might have to force you to max Q for us to blind big minions. Um, Nocturne is really strong with it now. More re damage, more sustain. Uh, I'll throw Nocturne and relies more on ED10 attack speed, so. Meh. On hit tank, Nunu would be pretty strong as well. They expect you to have no damage, but. Save the farmer and Nunu with Spitz and maybe Rune of Rune King will give you a lot of on hit damage, which will make people forced to attack you. And Nunu also has Consume, so you can get 30 stacks a lot faster and easier than other junglers because you can do Baron and Dragon easier. Uh, Olaf, it could work on his when you're tanking if you focus on late game builds and you want to. Who tank, but at the same time deal a lot of damage. Instead of going for Hydra or something, you can go with Sid Defar and go full tank, and then you can rely on your E to deal damage against tanks or something. Don't recommend it. Uh, Puppy would also work really well with it. Mm. Same for like Jax passive, like you get your max attacks faster, but it's not that efficient on Puppy. It, it could make her a lot stronger, but meh. It's not that efficient. It's sufficient, but it's just awkward, I would say. Um, Shen, ZPS, and Shivana's DPS got a huge uh, boost. Um, Shen has a huge damage boost and can help allies and get free kills or assists pretty easily, so get he with his ulti, so he kind of gets stacks faster than an average jungler at uh, the EFK farms or something, but I don't know, like, there's a lot more, more better picks than Shen jungle. Also, you could pick him top lane with Sadie Far, that would work. Did that, I think, besides Demo and Shivana, Shen might be. One of the few junglers that does better, I mean, uh, champions that does better top lane with Sadie Defar than Jungle. Um, Shifana, huge DPS boost, but realizing, like, she gets 30 stacks insanely fast and has a huge DPS boost, but she doesn't gank really well. I mean, yeah. Actually, C Divor is really good on her since she just really ganked that well anyway, so yeah. Um, Shen, like I've said before, really strong, but better picks available. Uh, could give... It's a small DPS boost on Skarner. I wouldn't bother playing Skarner with it. Uh, it's a pretty big boost for Damp Kench's potential. Say far, if you're playing jungle as Tam Kench, just because you can get your three stacks off a lot faster, and you have your passive, uh, your ulti passive to that works with Say far, so your auto hits will deal a lot more damage, like 1.5 percent more, which is 150 um, percent. Also, you can get your your Q cooldown is pretty low, so you can. For example, if the enemy team doesn't have anyone that's fat and has the same damage, you can instead of auto hitting three times and queuing for the stun, you can auto hit twice, stun him, walk to the other one, but hit him twice, stun him, then eat someone who's trying to dive on your backline or something. You know, like 
it's a lot easier to play him ten, and he has a lot more uh, on hit damage. Timo top, very strong now, on hit at least. Uh, it's going to be awkward to find a good, uh, good balance between building him EP and on hit, since he kind of requires to be EP still in a way. Uh, I guess I would go. Actually, no, you don't really need magic penetration because you can go with. Um, you can go with. Um, what's it called? With end, but at the same time, if you rely fully on other hits, you will be weak to Malphite E or like to attack speed removals like Frozen Heart and then Malphite E. So. Like the normal Teemo builds, you should go with Bruiser, but at the same time going EP and on hit like you could replace Blade of Turin King with say the Devar for example and go with uh, with Zen to supplement it and maybe one or two EP items. Um, I actually think Trash would be pretty strong now as well, has more potential to become a top laner jungle. Just because he, as a jungler, he ganks so damn well, in my opinion. Um, plus, even if he's an on-hit tank or something like that, you can still help teammates with W, you know, like... You can still have to hit during your W. The only time you would Q an opponent is, like, when they have really high threats, and enter threat and have a lot of damage, like G, for example. You can just pretend you're Tom Kench and devour him, but instead hook him, you know, like... Works like Tam Kench. Uh, high damage, high CC, decent mobility. It's actually a. It actually does better than uh, than Tam Kench. Like he has more CC than Tam Kench, but less damage, I would say. Tristana, uh, Tristana, uh, that's not top lane and mid jungle. Um, Twisted Fate jungle, pretty strong now. Again, Fane jungle. I would only pick Fane Jungle top or or Jungle um, against low damage heavy tank teams and just go tank Fane or Bruiser Fane and go say the far just focusing on W. Uh, Fi is also really strong now. Uh, Bruiser and tank Fi just got a huge buff with say the Tivar. Okay, so. Now I need to think. Okay, so <clears throat> for jungle, let's say the Defar, like I've said before, you really, really need to abuse say the Defar. That will make you climb and perform a lot better than it normally would. It's currently pretty broken and it will probably get nerfed very soon. It works, it works well with it. I'm going to try it for. Jungle, Fi, huge buff on tank Fi. Bruiser also works. Chi, full damage. Bruiser, tank, checks, tank. We just go for uh, Wits and Blade of the Ring King. CD4 or CDD4. Um, and Blade of the Ring King. Um, you can also go Bruiser on him. You don't need Trinity Force anymore. If you buy CD4, because um, you will have mini burst all the time. Actually, like CD4 enables some sustained uh, champions to be a sustained burst, basically being able to burst every second or every 1.5 second or even less, maybe than one second. Like, Jax doesn't need 24s anymore because he will focus on having attack speed instead of attack damage and being tanky besides that. And if you buy 24s with 2 or 2 uh, offensive items already, it will be way too squishy. Because it's not efficient, it doesn't synergize with uh, items. Yeah. It synergizes with CD4 because it gives attack speed, but CD4 doesn't give AD, it only gives uh, attack speed and on hit damage so attack speed is your main focus uh Blade of Tuning king has an on hit 
and uh, uh, and life steal and attack speed on um, um, which end has on hit damage and shreds magic resist which makes them vulnerable to your W and LT. Your ulti will proc a lot faster with say devouring every two auto hits now instead of three auto hits. Um, yeah, so on checks, don't build Trinity Force if you're going with CD4, go with Wits and and or Blade of Turing King instead, then go full tank. <clears throat> um, Shivana, huge DPS boost, build tank on her. You can probably go Blizzard as well, but tank would be a lot better. Um, Shen, tank, CD4, attack speed. It's end or a uh, Return King, very strong. Tam Kench, situational pick. I wouldn't really recommend him since he's immobile. He rotates fast and helps team rotate, which is ulti, but he's pretty slow. Unless you buy a uh, boost of swiftness or Moby boots or uh, seal stuff, or like basically. One item or two items that give movement speeds, uh, you shouldn't buy him, uh, um, play him. Um, and uh, items outside of boost that give him attack speed isn't really strong. Besides Trinity Force, maybe, but yeah, like I said before, it doesn't work that well with the Devourer, my opinion. Um, this is basically if you want tank with high damage against Snowball Champion like Chi or Iria. If you are tanky enough already and if the enemy is if only one or two enemies are fetched you can just but hit him twice instead of three times. Thank you for this turn and then devour him and he will deal no damage. You will deal a lot of damage to him. Um Udir Q has uh, his Q passive persistent aura gives him extra like 150% um, 150% ED instead of 1% and his Phoenix stance procs more often uh, which sense would be strong on him as well so don't go Juggernaut and Udi anymore just go for CD4. Uh, I think it also works with uh, Muramana, but I'm not sure. Even if it works with Muramana, you will get Uma a lot faster, so I don't really recommend that item. It doesn't give attack speed, it just gives ED a mana, which isn't efficient. Um, Folly Bear, Numb, faster. Um, lazy or Mechanically weak players, Warwick and Elise. Uh, wait, 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 I forgot something above. Kassadin uh, and Diana. Diana on hit tank also works now, but it's actually for easy players. But we got some mechanical skills, so I didn't put him with the other people. Um, Kassadin on hit tank. Focus on attack speed, not ED. Uh, mobile because of ulti. Warwick and Elise. Uh, Warwick has a passive that works like with ends. It gives magic damage on hits, so it synergizes pretty well with CD4 and um, with ends. And it gives him more sustain because his passive heals. Warwick ulti. Is a suppression with auto hits on top. Those auto hits proc devourer, CT um, far should at least proc CT far. Not 100% it does, but I think it, it normally shoots. Elise uh, recently got changed. The spidlings deal more damage, and you don't need to use the W for spidlings to heal you. Spidlings have passive heal. More sustain and damage, high threat since you have repel to catch runners. Like take a flash and you can still repel after them, for example, if they're in melee range of you. 
before the flash. Um, at least on hit tank would be a less mechanical demanding champion than at least Mitch, in my opinion, AP Bruce or something. Um, top lane works on Gnar. But yeah, also works on kill actually, jungle on top, but I'm not going to mention it because it's. Uh, minus Renine would be better, in my opinion. Uh, Gnar, W. Uh, pop, 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 pop. Timo on hit, but has to buy some hit points. So if you go full on hit, Timo. Full on hit team will be, I mean, at low you can probably do it, but I mean, well, low people pay Frozen Heart last, but they still do buy it frequently, so I wouldn't build team of full on hit, like attack speed based, I would still buy EP with him, like an Hourglass or a Pistol Scapter would be already enough, in my opinion. Uh, but you don't have to go, you can't go. You can go fill attack speed on hit based just because he deals a lot of hyper damage. Um, his E, CD fire, a bit and magic damage, and his other hits through them. Um, uh, physical damage, cannon, same reason, EP, uh, hyper damage for top lane. Um, a lot of stuns. But his stun return burn is like each time he stuns a target in a specific time frame, he will the stun duration will re remain less long, so it will just briefly interrupt champions. Um, Shivana, eight rocks. Uh, no, not really eight rocks. It's not that strong. Uh, for Eli carry Kochmao. Ferris, MF, Fane, uh, oh, and Kalista. For tapping, if you're playing against a melee champion that doesn't really easily get to you, such as Trundle, Trundle can be guided pretty fairly easily. Um, and against tanks, you can also play Kalista and Fane. Uh, for ED carry, Kogmao. Kogmao can also go mid with ED. Uh, ED carry, Kogmao mid. Um, w. I'm pretty sure Kogmao with Ifar is the best. Is uh, is the best uh, ED carry. Kogmao is the, in my opinion, the best. Um, say that Ifar ED carry. Early game wise, at least. Kogmao is a lean bully early game. Doesn't matter what you build, just because of his W. And the CD4 requires attack speed, which will be able to, will make you able to proc W faster, even when you don't have CD4 yet. So, CD4 doesn't really make your. Um, CD4 doesn't. Af rushing CD4 on Kogmao either carry does, or mid lane doesn't affect early game. As much as others. Uh, Ferris on hit team. Ferris W magic damage. Ferris will be hybrid. This W deals a lot of magic damage. Same for MF. Uh, plus you can also oh. Yeah, it's actually strong. You can get max stacks on uh, uh, enemies faster, so you can shred tank teams. Uh, playing various ED carry or ED carry mids would be pretty strong since you can against the tank team because you will be able to shred them. Various is W. Uh, Stats are here. It's uh, Darkest Maximum Health, EP Damage. <coughs> Actually,
Mm. I don't advise it, but... Kogma, mid. And Varus mid would also work. Uh, Timo mid could also work. But only if he has melee. Um, the reason why Varus mid, uh, AP Varus, basically. Uh, he has good AP damage. And if you go magic penetration, your W deals a shit ton of damage. Um, it works with attack speed for this very reason. His passive has AP scaling, so you can go. Um, if you go AP very smith, you can go steadily far into. Um, Nashor to it, and you will deal a lot of damage. Uh, what you could also do is a uh, hurricane with it, and then you're pretty much full attack speed. Um, a hybrid various would probably also work because of it. Um, cannon and TF also works in the carry role. But low attack speed, uh, low attack range for dwelling. He has a they have a bad kit and trait potential, so it's not that strong in, in a the carry role. Um, Kogmo, already told that various same uh, same. Vayne and Kalista. If you main Vayne and or Kalista, by all means, please, for the love of Elo Climbing, play them with the fire, top, jungle, mid, depending on how good you are with them, uh, ED carry. You can play them everywhere, but support with Sid the fire, and you're going to be so goddamn strong. Uh, the only time I don't recommend Fane with uh, say the Devar is when your enemy team is all squishy, just because three damage based on maximum health is going to lower DPS in my opinion. Actually, mm, I'm going to look it up. I'm not one hundred percent one hundred percent sure. I don't know, yeah, kind of, actually. Yeah. Uh, City 4 on Finn isn't that effective if you're playing against full squishy enemy team. Because you can just buy a BS sword and you will do more damage. Like, well, actually, that's a lie. That's calculation. Mm, it's pretty much the same with the CD4, but at the same time, um, it could work against squishies, but yeah, it could work. I think it's not as efficient against full squish enemy team, but it still could work, so eh, you can try it. Uh, anyways, um, CD4 must use champions so champions that actually you really need to buy cd4 on oh actually noxion also works well with uh cd4 and jungle so champions that really need you to build um champions that really require cd4 to be built on them would be chi jax chi and jax have a huge Damage, DPS boost, and they have burst because of it. Every two out hits, they have a burst. Um, she has 330 true damage every two out hits, which is E, 400 ED, um, and 100 magic damage. Jax gets his max stacks from passive, which is 60% attack speed boost, a lot faster, and his uh, LT stacks. A lot faster, like every two auto hits, his ulti goes off instead of three. 
So he doesn't need Trinity Force anymore since he has Burst already with attack speed. So it's very efficient since you it makes you able, say the fear makes you able to skip Trinity Force. Uh, and it still gives you Burst, like an attack speed item that only gives attack speed and only hit damage that gives you Burst is in my book really good. Um, Fi, oh actually, yeah I'm going to write separately. Shivana and Fi have a huge DPS boost. Um, Tam Kench, Shen, Udir, mm, Volibear not really. Tam Kench, Shen and Udir, especially Phoenix Stance Udir have a huge damage boost. Uh, I would go with Phoenix Stance with CD4 instead of Tiger Stance because you have probably damage. Uh, you'll probably buy... I mean, actually no. Uh, if you go Phoenix Stance on Udir with CD4, you should go with Blade of the Wind King for more hybrid damage, like less magic damage, and to keep everything balanced, like physical magic damage balanced up to about the same, depending on enemy resistances. Um, if you're going with Tiger Stance on Udir, I would replace Blade of the Wind King with Wits End. Wits End gives you 45 magic damage on hits every other hit plus uh, reduces magic resist but at the same time its end also works really well with uh, phoenix stance just because it shreds uh, magic resist um shift fine anything else uh Timo is also strong with it, but it's not that strong that it's obligatory. Uh, can remove him. Vayne and Kalista must have. Especially if you mean Vayne and Kalista. If you're not that good with Vayne and Kalista and you're afraid you'll be a lot weaker than you already are in early game because of the champion, you can play them jungle to lower pressure a lot or. Uh, Faint, uh, faint jungle works, but I'm not too sure with Kalista. Kalista might have issues early game, like first clear and at the start. Um, faint doesn't because of W. Uh, you can also go top lane with Faint and Kalista against a tank or someone that gets you, like against a melee champion. Uh, if it's hard for them to reach you, or you can even play them. Mid or top lane, if you're really good at them, or just CD carry with them if you're really good at them. Um, because Fane, Temple, and Kalista passive makes it pretty easy to dodge skill shots, so yeah. Um, that's about it for the video, so bye. Hope you enjoy climbing Elo and abusing CD4 for as long as it stays broken. Bye bye, have fun.